peeps, welcome to another Mailbox Monday video. I'm, oh gosh, I'm so sorry I'm um, looking tired and everything. I've had a manic day. I don't know what it is with December. People just go crazy! It's just a month. It's just Christmas, okay? Why does everybody have to go mad? Um, but I've just got back from a governor meeting because I do volunteering at a primary school. So that's taken up two or three hours. And uh, before that I was at the gym and I had to run right across town in the rain, <laughs> um, but hey, it's fine, it's refreshing, it's horrible is what it is, but I'm here, so let's get some mail. Oh, um, quick message about the messages. Um, I'm trying my best to reply to all the Facebook messages, but Facebook is truly awful when it comes to messages. For a start, it insists on showing you the newest at the start, at the top, and it basically doesn't care about the ones that have been there for months, which is really, really bad programming because obviously you should be able to swap it around, and you can't. But secondly, there's a few people that are sadly abusing the Facebook messaging system. So they, they send a message asking about a train set or, um, hey Will, I want to buy an N-Gage loco, what do you recommend? And so I'll, I'll reply, but then that person must like their phone must buzz or their computer buzzes or the tablet and they basically come along and go oh Will's there I can chat to him no you can't but they come along and they send a message back saying oh cheers fat Will by the way what are you up to what well, I'm replying to messages that's what I'm up to oh okay um what do you think of the new Dapple loco that's coming up no, no I can't do this <laughs> I'm sorry I have uh, you know 168 messages to reply to I can't, I mean, I would love to, but I can't sit and have a conversation with just one person. It, it can't happen. It's, when you have messages that are coming back in faster than you're replying, honestly, it actually crushes you inside. You, you think, how can I do this? How am I going to cope? How can I get on with this? And Google keep telling me to just reply to every other one and to ignore one completely. I don't want to do that. Guys, I, I, that's, that seems really unfair, um, but I'm getting on top of them. It was 168, I think I've actually got it down to two figures now, I think it's at 99 or something. Although that was last night, so it's probably back up again, I don't know. Okay, I'm back, and I've got my trusty little letter opener as well. Um, I could have the train running, I could, I did think about having it running and having the Hornby one running as well, but... Um, I don't know, people would probably complain. People would honestly probably... I, I can't win. I, I literally cannot win. This happens all the time on YouTube. The, um, the, the Crew Works video that went up just a few days ago, literally one third of people said, oh, you should have put some background music to it. One third of people said, oh, we don't like the sound effects. Um, please don't use sound effects again. I'd rather it just be quiet. And then a third of people said, love the sound effects, really adds atmosphere, it's dead good. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? You cannot win. Okay, so just to let you know, we've got loads more um, uh, postcards. I couldn't think what they were called then. <laughs> we've got loads more postcards and, and loads more badges. I love that sound. So they are um, starting to be shipped out again. Uh, as I say, there was a backlog of a few months, but they're going out again now. So if you haven't yet had um, a postcard or a badge, it literally could be turning up in just, you know, in a matter of days time. So just hang in there, it should be on its way. Okay, so first up, we've got an envelope. Oh, this has been handwritten as well. I love it when they're handwritten. It's just so much more personal than if it's um, done by a computer and stuff. Okay, again, I'll do the latest technique of showing you a close-up right about now. Dear ICA2, hi my name is Aidan, I think. I am from Ayrshire in Scotland. Is that Ayrshire? I think it's how you pronounce it, I'm not too sure. And I'm 10 years old. Oh gosh, but this is, oh, he'll now be 11. This is a year ago, over a year ago. Oh my gosh. I've always loved your channel, as well as Model Railways. On Christmas Day 2011, I received a Eurostar train set, plus a Batman Class 08 in BR Green. Nice, very nice. And three wagons, including a Hornby 2011 tanker wagon. Two years ago, when I was in primary, year five, the class got to cover our homework, jotters, 
Um, and um, I got my mum to help me put on train pictures. However, a few days later, people started making fun of me for two terms. I have one request for a train review. I would really like it if you did a Eurostar review. However, um, not the new one, but the old style livery. Many wishes, Aidan Fowler. P.S. I would really like to tell you my favourite trains, which are the, um, gosh, was that the, the Talis PBPKA, a French train, a Class 31, a Class 170, the Pendolino, and Voyager. And then, oh my gosh, he has drawn a picture of a Class 318 in SPT livery. That's, that's the Scottish livery, isn't it? I hope you like my Scottish train drawings. Wow, look at that. There's, there's no need for me to do this, I've just shown you a close-up. <laughs> but that is adorable. Um, Aidan, thank you so much for sending this letter in, and I am so sorry it's taken me over a year to open it up and reply to you. But, um, as, you know, I, I do get this a lot, and I'm just going to take a moment to talk about it briefly, but when I was little, I used, I used to run around um, pretending to be a train. Honestly, I did. I would run around the playground uh, going boop boop and blah, 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 and stuff like that and I would shoot past people pretending to go really really fast and I would get picked on too, I'd get bullied but okay sorry yeah I'm back um, basically uh, what was I saying yes um, I got bullied I got bullied quite a lot and it lasted for a few years even into secondary school but do you know what um, try your best to ignore it okay just ignore it. Don't worry about it. If it gets really bad, obviously tell, tell the school, tell your parents, or if you can't tell your parents, tell your nan and granddad, or, and, and basically hang out with friends that are into the same thing. Um, try to do it in real life if you can, if it's safe. Don't rely on social media too much, because people can hide behind social media to be nastier than, I mean I never had to worry about that when I was little. We, it didn't exist. But I know nowadays it can be an issue. All I can tell you is that it gets better. A lot better. Because you're forced in with these people at school, even though you don't know them and you might not like them, but you're thrown together into the pot, you know, and you have to lump it. There's nothing you can do. But once you get to secondary school, you grow up and you don't worry about it as much. And then comes college or sixth form, you know, they come along and you worry about it even less. And trust me, by the time you get to university, if you go to university or training college, technical college, whatever you end up doing, you drift apart. You go, everybody goes and does their own thing. And that kid that bullied you and annoyed you and upset you, you might never ever see him or her ever again, literally in your life. That's happened to me. The lads that used to wind me up, um, I don't know what they're doing now. I think one of them went into the army. I think one of them just sat on the dole for years and did nothing. Um, and here I am, getting paid to play with trains. <laughs> so, yeah, don't worry about it. Um, seriously, do not worry about it. it. It gets better. You've just got to hang in there, stick with people you know, and if something gets really bad, Tell people about it, share it, and hey, even tell me if you want. Drop me a message. Twitter is still the fastest way to get in touch with me. But if you don't have Twitter or you're not allowed on Twitter, you can send me a letter or you can Facebook message me. The Model Railway community is really big and it's really full of love and people that care. And so, so yeah, if we just all stick together um, and help each other out and support each other, <laughs> then it's going to be really good. Okay, so thank you Aidan for sending that letter in. That is really, really sweet and I love the drawing as well. I will get a postcard and a badge sent right out to you. Okay, so we've got another letter now. Um, this has come from Edinburgh. Another one from Scotland. Wow. Hi AC2 slash Will. I am a huge fan of the channel and my favourite model train review was the Class 221 Super Voyager. Are you going to do a review on the Grand Central Class 43 HST? And will you ever do reviews on East Coast trains? Thanks for reading the letter from Zach. Okay, Zach. Um, I do like the model of the Voyager, but I don't like the real thing. <laughs> I don't. I find it really cramped. And 
if you're only 8 years old or 15 years old and you're smaller, you might not notice it. But trust me, when you get taller and, you know, fill out a bit, um, <laughs> it, I think it's really cramped. I think the Voyager is a, a really small train inside. I know a lot of it is because the walls have to be really thick now in case it crashes and the bulkheads that, you know. Um, but I... I don't like them. I really don't like them. I've never had a really good experience on one. I find the Pendolino so much more open and so much more comfortable. Um, with regards to the Grand Central HST, I've done quite a few reviews on the HST now, and the only difference between the Grand Central and the others is it's literally just delivery. So, I, I mean, if somebody were to send one in, or if Hornby were to say, hey, well, do you want to borrow this, then that'd be great. But I'm not really going to buy one. If I did, I'd just have to sell it again. Which brings me on to the East Coast trains. Um, some of them really are quite spectacular and I would love to do videos on them. But because the layout I'm building is based in the Northwest, if I bought... It's like when someone asks if I can do a third rail train from South London. I can, but I'm really going to struggle to find a place for it on my layout. If I did, Trust me, people would, people would moan. They would really... We can't have that there. That's not supposed to run around Cheshire. I know. I did it for a review. So, um, it's really awkward with East Coast stuff and Southern stuff. Um, one quite... One pretty good thing about the channel now is that it has been noticed by people at Hornby and Batman and even quite a few shops. And so... The chances of me reviewing stuff that I don't have to keep, or I don't have to run on my own layout, and I don't have to pay for, the chances of that are higher. But, um, I don't know. I guess we'll have to see. Sometimes if a model comes along, and it is just stunning, <laughs> I buy it no matter what. But, obviously, they're quite expensive. There's only so much money I can put towards trains and stuff, so we'll just have to, we'll just have to see. But, in the meantime, thank you, Zach, for sending the letter in. It's really, really sweet of you. I love handwritten letters. They're so, so nice. And um, the pictures, although I'm not too sure, I honestly aren't too sure what they are, or at least one of them. I think it might be... I think it's... Is it a signal? Is it supposed to be a signal? I really don't know. But the, the, oh, the photos of the HSTs, oh, <laughs> just incredible. Thank you for all of that. I don't think you included your address though, but I'll put it all into the database and um, look after it. Thank you. Okay, so next up is another letter from the United States. We get quite a lot of mail from the US, which is really cool. Um, we get, also get quite a lot from Australia. We get quite a lot from New Zealand too. Okay, so this has come in from a lad called Kyle. Oh, look how cool this is. Kyle, wow, I am so impressed. Kyle has put a post-it note on for me, hiding his details, so that's just awesome. <laughs> Greetings, Will. I'm Kyle. I'm 10 years of age, and I'm absolutely a huge fan of your channel. I don't live in the UK. I live in the US. I love model railways and trains. There's just one problem. I don't have any, and my parents can't afford to get one. So if you would be extremely nice if you could send me a loco and some track, I'd be the happiest 10-year-old ever. <laughs> Oh, Kyle, that's really, really sweet. Um, I haven't actually got any spare locos or track at the moment, but um, one, of my, one of the biggest tips I can suggest is if you can find a local model shop, get down to it as soon as you can, because they often have like a, a bargain bin section, and that's where people bring in locos and wagons they don't want anymore, and you can usually get them at a really good price. Like, honestly, just save up, save up a bit of pocket money, or a bit of an allowance money, and you might be able to get something. Sincerely, Kyle Coleman. P.S. I apologise for any spelling mistakes. Kyle, considering you're 10 years old, well, you're probably 11 now, um, that writing is actually really good, and I can't see a single misspelling mistake, so well done. Flip for picture. Oh, look at that. Intercity 125. That is awesome. And he, he, Kyle's even drawn in the overhead catenary, the overhead system. That's amazing. Yes, I think Kyle knows that the, the Intercity 125 is one of my favourite trains. That's really sweet. Honestly, guys, 
I, I keep opening all this mail and ah, it, get, it, wells, it get, makes me well up every time. That's just awesome. Um, Kyle, I'll see what I can do. Okay guys, I'm actually going to open a parcel now. This parcel ugh, is really hard to open. It's been with me months, months and months and months and months. So again, I do apologize. I could do with an assistant to help me process all of this. After I open everything, you would not believe how long it takes to enter it all into the database and to file it away and record it and then to make sure that the postcard and the badge get sent out and Oh gosh, but it's worth it because I just love it coming in and it make, it cheers me up so much. Wow, okay. This is pretty impressive. I think this I think there's a low coat and some rolling stock. Let's just have a look. Whoa, massive letter. Ah, okay, I'm back. Sorry I had to go and grab a whole load of post-it notes. Okay, dear Will. Oh this is this is March 2016. Um dear Will, I say to you. Um, hi, I'm Tom. I'm 13. I'm from London. My favourite loco is the J94 Austerity Shunter in blue NBC livery. Nice. Is it NBC? You mean NC? Is it the National Coal Board? I'm sure it's the National Coal Board. Anyway, I could be wrong. I love your videos and have done for quite a few years now. Your hard work and commitment to YouTube is amazing. I got my first layout when I was six. My starter set was the Hornby Cardonian loco. Being six years old, the engine's body um, has snapped off the motor bogey and one of the carriages has been used to make an old towed brake van made by McCann and Model Railways connected to a modern tension lock coupling. I have attached an image of the train set. It's basic but it did the job. I am at the moment constructing the third version of my layout, a compact fourth and third radio sloop with a four lanes good yard and loco sheds and a single line terminus station. Oh my gosh Tom. The station is based on Butterley, however it is based nowhere in particular. I'm planning a railway series that will show the story of the layout. Very, very good idea. Starting an LMS railway line, but ending up as a BR mixed steam railway. This, isn't it? this is an excuse to use my DCC Sound Tornado as a character and see some old NER favourites making the limelight. Very, very good. I love the idea of a Mailbox Plus series, however you could also do an all-type Mailbox series and then Plus as an informal extra. Oh, uh, do you know Tom, at the moment I, I'm just happy to get through it. I would love to do videos where we actually have a look at the loco that's been sent in, but right now I've just simply got to get the backlog shifted. So as soon as the backlog is shifted and there's like literally no mail left at all, we can start to do more with it. We can start to do videos on... Um, running trains and getting them fixed up and sent out. But right now, I've just got to get it all open. On the talk of vlogging, a GoPro would be a good idea, but how about putting a small camera on the box van as well so we get a driver's eye view of your layout? <laughs> Tom, you read my mind. We are working on that. Um, I do want a whole load of new camera equipment actually, but it's going to cost quite a lot of money and I'm not going to be able to buy trains for ages. I'm not going to be able to buy trainers. I'm not going to be able to do anything to the house because the new camera, I think the camera I want is about six or seven hundred quid, but it is 4K, so. I've enclosed my Lima Class 50. Hmm, okay. A Network Southeast livery one named Exeter. Luckily, she's been preserved by the Class 50 Alliance. I was given the model at Christmas, and but it's not a perfect runner, so it remained in the yard confined to shunting. The motor's a little smoky, and I think her weight might be loose. Her weight? Okay. I have heard this is an issue in a number of Lima, uh, um, a number of Lima locomotives. Try saying that when you're drunk. Yeah, go ahead. Please, could you see what you can do in crew works to get her running again? I predict it might need just a bit of oil um, and the weight securing, plus a wheel clean. But I'll leave that for the crew works team to decide. The weight coming loose is an issue, so maybe you could do a workshop Wednesday on my Class 50. I've also attached an image of Exeter pulling a rake of Pendolino coaches after the main engine broke down on the East Coast Main Line. This would be interesting to recreate in double O scale. Keep up the good work, Tom. Wow. And this was sent in in March. Oh my gosh, yeah, look at this. This is so cool. Um, oh, oh, right, of course. So, okay, so that's the starter set. That is, a, that is typically a very good starter set, basically. That will get you into the hobby. Um, definitely recommend moving on from that loco there. It's, that's a very, very basic loco. And look, Tom wasn't lying. I have never seen that before in my life. A class 50 pulling 
um, pend Pendolino coaches? Are they the Pretendolino coaches? So basically the Mark III's. Because surely that's not actually the EMU Pendolino, sh you know, broken up and being pulled by a class 50, surely. And then again, Exeter pulling a Virgin Super Voyager. Oh my gosh, that is incredible. Okay, Tom, wow, what a letter and what a package. Um, apologies, I've only just opened it, but I have, so we're going to crack on with it. Uh, I see what he means. I see what he means. Okay, wow, that's actually really quite nice. So this is Tom's Class 50 that he's sent in. Okay, and... Oops, the couplers come off as well. Not a problem. Not a problem. Um, yeah. It does sound like the ballast is possibly loose. If it is, that really isn't an issue. It's quite easy to weight that down and to secure it. Um, it is missing a couple of buffers. We can probably try and find replacements for that. It being the old Lima tooling, though, it, I mean, they might not be the right size, but I'll, I'll check. Um, okay, yeah, sure. We can easily get that into Crew Works for you, Tom. I'll dedicate a video to it. Um, Craig is a whiz at stuff like this. He absolutely loves it. So I'm sure we can do something for you and we'll get it sent back to you as quickly as possible. Okay, so I will get a badge and postcard sent out to you straight away though, Tom, because you've been waiting so long, basically. But we'll get your Class 50 booked in and um, I have your contact details, obviously. So if I need to message you about the loco, I'll be in touch. But leave it to us. So far, Crew Works is undefeated. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to have time for one more letter, um, but that's purely because I'm running out of battery. <laughs> the camcorder is flashing in the corner, it's like, yes, I know, I know, I'm working as fast as I can. Right, okay, this is a letter that's coming from, well, I don't know actually, but I think it's been here quite a while. Um, this another Tom. Oh my gosh, there's Toms everywhere. In fact, this Tom isn't that far away. Dear Intercity 82, my name is Tom Darlington, I live in a small village called Scholar Green, near Allsager. Across the fields there's a train line where I often see DMUs and Class 66s, and the odd Pendolino. I first saw your channel when I was just six years old, and the first I was watching the YouTube, even after all these years, you're still my favourite YouTuber. My favourite train is the Class 40 in BR. Nice, I do love the Class 40, it's one of my favourites. This is because I think they're like the shy horses of rails. <laughs> They're used to hard work on the British Railways with little maintenance, but they kept going. In this letter, I have enclosed some small figures, which used to belong to my dad. I hope you had a good place. I hope you have a good place for them on your new layout, and they are a gift from me to you. I hope you like them, as when I was a small boy, I used to make scenes with them. Yours faithfully, Tom Darlington, age twelve, and Tom is probably thirteen now. <laughs> Tom has included some drawings of the, I think basically, yeah, it's included drawings of the trains that he sees. That's really cool. I can definitely tell it's a class, well, um, a class 153, definitely a class 66, and that definitely looks, well, to be honest, it could either be a Virgin Voyager or a Pendolino. Um, I'm going to go with, I'm going to go with Voyager. I'm going to say that that's a Voyager. I think a Pendolino is a little bit rounder than that. But, Tom, Thank you so much for sending that in, that is really sweet of you. I'll, I will get that filed away, and I will get a postcard and a badge sent out to you right away. Right, um, there's a couple of envelopes I didn't get around to doing, but that's because the camcorder is flashing low. So, right, I'm going to go get this edited, get all the stuff filed away, process the postcards and badges, and then I might just have some dinner. This train terminates here. Please ensure that you take all your belongings with you when you leave the train. Thank you for traveling with us today. Hey peeps, I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to leave a comment, please give it a like, and if you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.